Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will introduce the Microsoft Power BI and I will start a new video series for the Power BI tutorials. So first let's understand what is Power BI. Friends, Power BI is a powerful tool which is developed by Microsoft. There are three main parts of the Power BI that is Power BI desktop application wherein we connect with the data and we design the report. Then Power BI services, it's an online Power BI and here we publish our report which we have designed in the Power BI desktop and we can share it with the others. Another one is the Power BI mobile. You can install Power BI app in your mobile and you can see the dashboard which you have published to the Power BI services. Now why we should use the Power BI? In the BI space, Power BI is the world leader here. You can see in the magic quadrant for the analysis and business intelligence platform of the Gartner. Microsoft is on the top. You can enhance your career using the Power BI, whether you are a beginner of the Power BI or you want to start a job or you are already working in the data analysis and the business intelligence field, you can just add this skill set in your resume. Main key feature of the Power BI is it can be connected with the multiple data sources, more than 100 of the data sources like Excel, SQL Server, Azure cloud services and even Google Analytics. There is a big range of the data connectors there. You can transform your unclean data using the Power Query. You can clean it and prepare for the data analysis. You can create the data models inside the Power BI, creating the relationship between the tables and writing the DAX measures to do the calculations and after that you can start the visualization. Large number of visuals are available, charts, graphs, maps and you can add the custom visuals also if you want. And you can easily collaborate with your team, design the dashboard in the Power BI desktop and publish it to the Power BI services then you can share it with the others also. So they can see the report which you have created in the online version. There are a lot of AI capabilities inbuilt inside the Power BI which we will discuss in this video series. Now I will explain you how you can install the Power BI desktop application as free. I will also guide you how you can use the Power BI as free. First you need to go to the Microsoft official download page of the Power BI this website then you can download it from there and you can install it. So let me show you that page. So this is the URL to download the Power BI desktop application. I will provide this link in the video's description box. From here you can simply click on the download button and you can choose Power BI desktop x64 exe and just download it or you can choose this one also. Once you have downloaded and install it then you can just open it. This is the Power BI desktop application. I have already installed it. Now let me show you how it will look like. So this is the front page of the Power BI desktop application. From here you can create a blank report or you can connect directly with the Excel SQL Server or even with some sample data. So let me click on the blank report. So this is the user interface for the Power BI desktop application. We have here home tab these information I will explain you each and everything in the upcoming videos how you can use these all features of the Power BI. Now let me quickly show you how we can connect with the different data sources. So you can go to the get data and here we can see lot of data sources list is available even you can click on more button. So here you can see the other sources also in the all or you can go by the categories also like this is for the files, the Microsoft fabric and databases, different type of databases are available here and power platform, Azure, online services and the others. Okay. So we can connect with the Excel if you have some Excel file ready but for now I will show you to use some sample data also which Power BI provide for the practice. So let's click on use sample data this one and click on load sample data. Let's select this financials from here and click on load. I will show you what is the use of the transform data button also in the upcoming videos. 
so it is loading the financials data okay data is loaded successfully we can see here this data icon and uh, this table is available here this is the report view you can see if i'll go to the table view i can see that data which i have loaded okay so that data is available here and i can go to the model view also to create the relationship but as of now we have only one table i will explain this thing in the upcoming videos now quickly i will show you how you can create the visuals so let's say i want to create this cluster column chart so let's click here and make it slightly bigger now from here you can add the data to the visual or you can add directly in the build also as you want so let's say for the x axis just click here and you can choose the field which you want to keep here or you can directly take from here let's say i want to take the country and just put here and in the y axis i want to put the profit so we have a chart the column chart which is country wise profit okay and we can adjust the size as we want we can further format it the formatting i will explain you in the upcoming videos and let's create another chart this time i will take this line chart let's keep this chart here make it smaller now i will show you how you can add from here just click and x axis click on add and let's say i want to take this date okay so we have this date hierarchy here now we can take the y axis data also so let's say for the y axis i want to take the gross sales now just cancel this and here we can see the chart so this is creating a date hierarchy by default we are seeing the year here and if i to the next level then i can see the quarters here or i can see the months also so automatically it is creating that okay in just few clicks you can add the cards also from here so let's say this is the card if i click and make it smaller then i can simply add the information like gross sale here so this is the gross sale and let's make a copy of it and paste then let's say i want to add the net sale or sale so this is the sale and again make a copy of this and paste let's keep this here let's put here discount so this is the discount let's copy it and paste again and let's say this one is the profit okay you can change the page background color also so we haven't selected any visual then we can simply right click here and go to the format canvas and from here you can change the background color of the canvas so let's say i'm taking this gray color so transparency is 100% i'm just making it zero okay so now we can easily see different visuals quickly you can adjust those visuals as you want you can change the size from the format also here we have the format and you can go to the size and style and from here you can choose the let's say height is 120 and width you can take around 290 okay and you can just align this properly like we do in the powerpoint so go to the format and align these top then distribute them horizontally okay so quickly we have formatted this on the top you can put some title also so you can go to the insert and let's insert a shape rectangle shape and let's put that shape here like this if you want to change the color of this shape you can simply go to the shape style from here go to the fill and in place of this color let's take some dark blue color let's say this one okay now you can insert a text box okay so insert text box this one just click and here you can type let's say my first power bi report align this center increase the size like this or let's take around 28 and let's keep this here in the center now again go to the size and style for this and of the background color from here okay and select and font color from here you can take the white and make this bold 
all right so this is our first power bi report is ready so that is how you can create this now to publish this in the power bi services you can simply save this press control s to save this so here i am saying my first power bi report now we will publish it to the power bi services to publish it to the power bi services you must be logged in first i have already logged in here with one of my account after login with your power bi id you can simply go to the home tab and say publish now select the my workspace and select so it is being published now let's click on the my first power bi report then it will be opened online so that power bi report which we have designed is opened here you can see now you can put it in the full screen mode you can share it with the others and this is looking good okay so friends that is how you can use the power bi it was just an introduction video i will create a complete series of the videos so please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching